name is Joris Quick, I, I'm from RVM. And uh, my expertise is on expo environmental exposure assessment of, uh, of chemicals, but nanomaterials in specific. That was, let's say, the topic of my uh, PhD. And uh, mainly my expertise is on, on fate modeling of nanomaterials and a bit on, on data and, uh, and, and data availability and what data you need to do eventually exposure assessment and, and risk assessment. And uh, as uh, the RVM, we, we, we are uh, aimed at, at connecting research, science and, and policy makers, but also other stakeholders. For that we have a, a knowledge and information point on, uh, on risks of nanomaterials. And one of the things we do, for example, is, uh, is write, uh, at, yeah, actively write to policy or policy uh, or ministry actually uh, uh, about recent research and translate it to, in a way, that what is the impact, what is actually uh, going on. And we do that for, for directly for policy, but also for the general public and other stakeholders. We also have a, a public letter in that sense that we write. Uh, four times a year and we've been doing this for quite some time and I think that is one of the yeah, contributions of RVM in risk governance of uh, nanomaterials. So Simple Box for Nano is an adaptation of a, a, a FATE model uh, already uh, implemented more or less in, in regulations, uh, Simple Box, and uh, it, it works in a, in a similar way, only the, the input parameters and the way the, the processes are, are, are modeled, uh, changed, because nanomaterials are a specific group of materials. Uh, they are particles which behave differently to uh, conventional chemicals. And in that sense, we had to make some, some changes. Uh, nanoparticles uh, uh, interact differently with other particles and so on than, than uh, uh, conventional chemicals. So that is at least the, 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 the reason we made Simple Box for Nano. But of course, this also means that other aspects of the whole exposure assessment uh, and, and, and the end risk assessment uh, uh, scheme steps need to be changed. You also need to have nanomaterial specific emission uh, release estimates. And also in the end for the risk characterization, you need to be able to compare these predicted environmental concentrations of nanomaterials to the proper uh, effect thresholds. 